Okay, here's a screencast on how to take a design out of Adobe Illustrator and import it into a cylinder object such as this pop can um, in Fusion 360. So I got this pop can design from GrabCAD. Um, credit goes to Mark Aerosmith here. Um, he modeled it up. So I just downloaded that, uh, uploaded it to my Fusion 360 project folder and opened it up. Um, the one thing I did was turn on project timeline just to record the, um, the history. But So as you can see, this is how I opened it. Um, and what I want to do is import, or rather wrap this, our agency's logo around that cylindrical object. Here it is in Adobe Illustrator. It's um, an EPS file. So um, one way in Fusion 360 is just to use a decal. So if you go under the insert, you can do decal. Um, you select the face and then select the image. Um, but one of the things, if you look here under file types, EPS is not an option. You can do PNG, JPEG, or TIFF. So I'm just going to go ahead and cancel that. So one thing I can do is just export this, or do, rather do a save as or export as a JPEG, which I've, I've done already. So I'm just going to show you that process. So I'm going to do a decal, select my face, select my image, can label here, open it, um, rotate, put it in the center here, and then scale it. It's kind of finicky, but if you um, it does do some odd things. So on the back side here where it merges, it's just got some funkiness. And then you can see it's also popping up on the lid here. So one thing is just to remove chain faces. And that gets rid of the, the, other, the other surfaces taking on the, the decal. Um, and then if I can make it a little bigger. that doesn't really um, just go ahead and hit OK here. You can see it's kind of funky there on the back side. But otherwise, it looks good. If you're just doing like one surface, this is definitely the fastest way to put an Illustrator design onto a cylindrical object. Um, so you've got that process. Um, another way, which works out even better, I'm going to go ahead and um, just back up through the step and remove that decal. Another way is actually to modify an appearance um, with that with that file. So I'm just going to hit A for appearance. Open that up. Uh, make sure this is applied to just faces if you just want this one surface. So I'm going to drag my can wrap appearance onto that. And there you go. It's it looks great. Um, let's go to home. I'll show you. There's couple things under appearance so how you do this is um, I'll just go ahead and drag this orange one here I'm going to right click on it edit um, under color libraries go to advanced now you're looking at this instead of color here you hit this toggle image I just chose that same JPEG file as before that I did the decal with open and you can see that's it's a bunch of badness but what we're going to do is um, edit the image. So I know that this needs to be rotated 90 degrees. Um, I also know that my position, well, let's do sample size first. So unlock this. I know I want my width to be 207.785 millimeters. I know my height to be 93.478 come on millimeters and I know I need my offset to be minus 18 millimeters and then leave it tiled wrapped and go done and right here I'm just going to change this name so I don't lose my plastic orange I'll just do can wrap to and OK. And there you go. 
It's a nice can wrap. That's from Adobe Illustrator, and you're wrapping onto a cylindrical object. Hope that helped, and have a great day.